Well, cool. so in this case, what we need to do is, again, determine our two coterminal angles, one positive and uh, one negative. So we already looked at this. And remember, when we're determining coterminal angles, that means we have the angles that have the same exact initial and terminal side. Now, we look at this angle, and we know that since it's 7 pi over 3, that's going to be over revolution, right? Because if I was going to go and I was going to break my unit circle, right? If I was going to break this into thirds, remember, halfway around is pi. So if I broke this down into thirds, that would be 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, and then 3 pi over 3. Continuing down on the lower half, this would be 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, 6 pi over 3. So my angle is going to look like this, as this would be 6 pi over 3, so that's 7 pi over 3. So since this is greater than, um, since my angle is greater than uh, 2 pi, right, where there's my terminal side, and here's my initial side. I need to be able to find another angle that's going to have the exact same initial side and exact same terminal side. Now, obviously, I could add another set of 2 pi, right? I can just keep on doing it. You can do this infinite many times. However, if I just keep on adding 2 pi, I'm just getting larger and larger and larger numbers. So I need to find the smallest coterm, positive coterm angle. So rather than adding 2 pi, what I'm going to want to do is subtract 2 pi. And when I subtract 2 pi, I'm just left with this one angle, which is pi thirds. Now remember, 2 pi we can represent as 6 pi over 3. So to find the coterminal angle, or at least the smallest positive, I'm going to subtract 2 pi. Therefore, that gives me pi thirds. So pi thirds is the po smallest positive coterminal angle. But remember, we need to also find a negative one. So what about if I have this angle, but then I work in the negative direction? Right? Therefore, that's going to produce me now an angle that's going to start here and then end here. So to find the smallest negative, I need to keep on subtracting 2 pi. I'm sorry, that's pi thirds. So I take my smallest positive, and then I subtract, again, another 2 pi. And when doing that, I get a negative 5 pi over 3. And if we were to graph negative 5 pi over 3, it looked like this. Remember, negative is in clockwise direction. So negative 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, negative 5 pi over 3. And you can see these are coterminal angles because they still start in the same initial and they end on the same terminal side. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine coterminal angles. Thanks.